Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio here with a quick update to a previous video about the Zoom reactions and nonverbal feedback features. Now, these used to be two somewhat confusingly different features in Zoom, one of which was available in the toolbar at the bottom with the reactions button, and the other was available with a bunch of buttons on the bottom of the participants window here. Zoom got rid of the ones on the bottom of the participants window and merged them with the reactions button in a previous update so you could find all of them by clicking here. The problem was that when they did that, they changed it so that all of these automatically timed out after about 10 seconds. So for example, when I click the thumbs up button, you'll see that appear over my video feed and next to my name in the participants list. But if I wait about 10 seconds or so, eventually it will disappear on its own. There you go. Now, that's fine, but they also did it for the yes and no buttons, which made it really annoying for people who wanted to use these options for quick informal polling. For example, if you ask your class a yes, no question, and you want to give people a minute or so to answer, if some people take longer than others, then by the time they've clicked this button, the people who clicked initially will have had their answers disappear. That made this feature pretty much useless for polling. With the most recent update, I believe to Zoom version 5.5, they have fixed that and kind of changed the interface here so you can tell which is which. So now these little reaction emoji things at the top will disappear, but the ones that kind of have this gray outline button thingy to them will stay there persistently once you click them. So I'm not gonna sit here and record for five minutes to prove it, but you can take my word for it that once I have clicked that yes icon, it's not going to go away until I remove it myself. That kind of fixes this feature. I'm assuming people complained about it and Zoom realized that that was a problem. So now, again, you need to update your Zoom to do this, but you should be back to being able to use these for quick yes-no polling without using Zoom's built-in polling feature. So that's a very specific video, but hopefully you found it useful if that's what you were looking for. As always, if you are a returning subscriber, you're welcome to leave questions in comments below this video. If you're a new subscriber, I have a ton of other tutorials about teaching and learning online with Zoom that you can find linked in the description below this video and somewhere here on the end screen. Thank you.